the shower um good morning though welcome back to my channel sorry for the really bad intro um yeah anyway i'm just gonna take you guys through my morning this morning so i can upload x so i can get this out to you guys today but anyway welcome let's go ahead and get straight into today's video Hey guys, I uh, went and had breakfast. Okay, I went downstairs and made myself breakfast. That sounds like I went out to breakfast. Anyway, um, yeah, I had breakfast. Um, <sighs> talked with the family, and now I'm going to <laughs> clean up my room. Okay, <laughs> it needs some serious help. guys I got done with the Bible a bit ago I was searching for a few verses I watched a short video before bed last night and I wanted to share it on my Instagram page but there were a few things on there that I was either unsure of or I didn't agree with or I don't know if I agreed with them or not but I didn't want to share it and um, then portray that I did agree with those things if they weren't correct so um, yeah, but what he was talking about, um, he is, his name is Nick, I have no idea how to pronounce his last name, but um, I really do enjoy his sermons, most of them, um, but last night, I don't know, there was just a few things I was like, eh, so I just didn't want to share it, but anyway, um, 
he was talking about um, you know God's plan and he doesn't have any arms or legs and how he um, wanted to commit suicide and um, he I don't exactly know the story but he realized that God does has a have a plan for him and he's now married with I think a little boy now um, his story is just really encouraging to me and it always has been but last night um, he was specifically talking about God's plan and how he does have a plan for us and um, the verse that he read was Jeremiah I just looked it up 29:11. Okay, the verse is Jeremiah 29:11. For any of the thoughts that I think toward you, say the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. It goes all the way through verse 29, I believe. So if you want to listen to that, um, or read it, I should say, I would highly encourage it. Um, I haven't exactly read the entire thing, but um, yeah, when he said that, I was like, you know, the Lord does truly have a plan, no matter what we maybe be going through no matter what we may face in our future he still has a plan and I was just reminded you know in every circumstance do I use those circumstances to give God the glory and have him work through me or do I um, you know let the discouragement or the fear um, any type of feeling that I may have do I let that set in and I don't think there's anything wrong with um, you know, we have to acknowledge how we're feeling. We cannot bury our feelings, but it's important to not let them rule us. And so when he was saying that, I was just like, you know, that's really true. Do I let my circumstances and what I'm going through control my life? Or do I let the Lord work through those circumstances and give him the glory and praise so then in the long run I can learn through those lessons, you know? Um, and yeah. Uh, I wanted to read a couple of verses here. Um, <clears throat> I'll read the first one, Romans uh, 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. I absolutely love those verses because if we are trusting the Lord, um, there's also another verse that says, if we believe in what we pray for, we will get it if it is according to God's will. Um, I just remembered a couple of verses here that I also want to share with you guys. Um, a friend shared them with me, um, and I just want to read them to you. Um, it's Romans 4, 18 to 21. Who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about an hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform. I want to read those last two verses again. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able to perform. So many times I doubt that what God has told me will come to pass, what his promises are in the word and what uh, he has promised to do in my life, in your life, in so many other people's lives. I, so many times, I don't uh, not believe that those things will happen, but I have doubt in my heart and fear that those things will not come to pass and um but i truly do believe and know that they will because whatever the lord says whatever he says everything will come to pass um, because he does not go against his word um the last verse i want to read is first thessalonians 5 18 in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you giving thanks in everything. I feel like a lot of times when we may read that verse, we'll be like, oh, give thanks in my happy seasons of life and when I'm on the mountaintop, but no, we hope to give thanks even when we are going through the valley, even when we are going through something that we may not want to be going through. Um, so yeah, hopefully that can be an encouragement to you. Um, I know that all those verses have been a great encouragement to me and hopefully they can be. 
to at least one of you, even though I just said that, but we can repeat ourselves, it's okay. Um, anyway, I think I'm gonna end today's video here um, so I can get it edited and uploaded for you guys today. Um, also, I just want to mention, I know there are a couple of people that do not live in my time zone, not even close, um, so you may be getting like two videos in a day, but in my time zone, it's only one video a day. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I was like, you know, I bet a couple of these people, well, I know three at least, may be getting them in the same day, depending on when I am able to upload it, but... I was just laughing at it for some reason. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't really know how well it was. I was just trying to like film as much as I could this morning so that I can film the rest of this afternoon and evening and then upload it, upload that video tomorrow, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I am caught up now and I will be filming the day before and then you guys will see that video the next day, if that makes sense. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and Lord willing, I will see you tomorrow. God bless you guys.